Adio, Welcome Bar Club. Let's play a game of Monster Bash with my friend No Sculptor. No Sculptor and I had a Zoom session in which we decided that we would draw seven cards for the monster and use the same seven cards. In the end, we would have two different builds with um, the same basic idea and a diorama for the monster to live in. This time I had uh, several drawing sessions because I was not satisfied with the things I came up with at first. Um, yeah, but in the end it, it turned out quite good and uh, it would be challenging. It will be challenging. <laughs> so, let's see. I, I bought this. It's a Christmas uh, thing, transparent, and it's got this hole already. So I will use the hole as a mouth. So we got the, the body. I bought some minis <laughs> for the torso I guess I will hack him up the teeth I will make out of uh, XPS foam the the glibbery face will be made of hot glue and water effect and stuff like this <laughs> she has a uh, the stuff looks like it's a spine Let's make some teeth. Let's cut them and carve them and drop them and stick them and uh, fit them and yeah, paint them, maybe paint them also. And then stick them to the body. At first um, we discussed that we do a diorama. Then I thought I'll only do the monster and now I'm thinking I'm doing the monster plus some scenery for more storytelling. So uh, I want to do a small landscape in which the monster lives. As always, I get the hot wire cutter, get some styrofoam from the garage and then cut it. Uh, this time 20 by 20 centimeters and two layers. Tuck, tuck. Of course, uh, carve those layers, uh, carve some basic landscape shape in there and glue it together. Yeah, it looks boring, so I'll uh, glue some bark on it. So you remember all the styrofoam in the garage? There's also more bark in the garage. <laughs> so here we go again. The good old plaster PVA sand and water mix. Massage it in gently. So where is this sun when we need it to dry fast? It's the next day and I'm taking a look at the b -b 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 base. So now that our b -b 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 base is uh, all dry, we can cover it in PVA and then sprinkle on uh, sand and earth and stuff and dirt where we want it to be. Rough and sift, of course, for the fine texture. Ah, with sunlight it looks nice already. Guess what? We'll put some blue for the watercolor <laughs> directly on the sand uh, with wet blending. <laughs> the eyes. What to do with the eyes? I want uh, one big one uh, and on the other side several small ones, like in the sketch. Yeah, I guess I will carve them out of uh, XPS foam and then paint it and then glue it to the ball. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. So this time I thought I'll try this uh, acrylic glass barrier technique with hot glue to get nice and sharp edges for my resin pour. <laughs> yeah, holy moly. Bwah. It leaked so hard. It leaked so hard. All the 150 milliliters of resin just leaked through. <sighs> yeah, and it's leaking slow, so it took a long time to clean that sh stuff up. <laughs> yeah, next try. So uh, this time I tried another technique I saw on the internet um, with uh, XPS balls, huge, massive XPS balls and some packing tape uh, so the XPS doesn't melt away. I used silicone to glue and seal the gaps. I used far too much, uh, but it was, there was no leak then. 
let's unpack it. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, anxious. So this was my third resin pour and uh, this time I'm happy with it. It looks good, sharp edges, uh, almost no bubbles and I didn't have to use the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, it's good, Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, one thing I did not mention yet. So on our sketch there are several things that don't appear in the landscape and they don't appear in the monster itself but the monster has eaten those paws, like the mantis claw and this kind of stuff. Yeah, and the spine. So it's a little bit of cheating, but it's in the monster. <laughs> I guess it's okay. It's time to flock, 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 planet flock. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Yeah, uh, with my homemade uh, sawdust flock, instant ready usage because of the coffee grinder. Yeah, and some, um, you know, this foamy green bits stuff. I can't remember the name, but it's the good stuff. Railroad modeling. So, I want this ball to be elevated out of the water and there needs to be water and dripping down from the ball and some kind of... Yeah, it's not tentacles, but it's water thingies legs or whatever you want to call them yeah hmm how do I do that my neighbor gave me this really big sack full of um, plastic what are they called wait a second I got a ghoul test tubes made from plastic so let's uh, cut some up and glue them to the ball so they can function as legs after that we just cover that stuff with hot glue which does not look good because it does not dry transparent which is really annoying but what's done is done and then cover it with water effect and then I'm not satisfied. Uh, what to do next? I'll uh, use some transparent acrylic uh, caulking stuff put it on a baking sheet and let it dry and then glue that also to the ball. After that, blend it in with some more acrylic water effects medium stuff. So, this stuff here, I don't know, the first batch was, was perfectly removable from the paper, but this batch is sticking so good, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, the paper is sticking to this thing. Ah! Holy moly. So this stuff did not go off the paper well. I ripped it off. There was a lot of brownish paper sticking to the back of this stuff. Cutting also was not so good. I just threw it into the sink with warm water and soap. Washed it, peeled it off with a brush and then dried it in the sun so I could use it and glue it to the build. And again, I know why I don't like super glue. My fingers are sticking, but not the stuff that I want to stick. I hate it, but it's the best option here and with activator spray, it's okay. To blend in the nasty gaps, I put on a lot of acrylic medium. The thing is with acrylic medium, it does not dry very fast. I found out in sunlight, it dries a lot faster than without the sun. Warm weather is also good for the drying process. The best is to have a lot of thin layers and a lot of time to dry all those. So now would be the perfect time to hit the subscribe button, the bell, the like button and write a comment if you want. I will answer questions. A lot of you asked about the piano. So here we go, fans of the piano. Big thanks goes out to my supporters on Patreon and everyone who bought me a coffee or bought something from the Amazon wishlist. Thanks a lot.
And now go over to No Sculptures YouTube channel and also like his Instagram. I got the links in the description below. And check out his build. See ya!